How are you? Good to see you. I just have a fun tidbit to share today that I think is super interesting. I just got through reading a devotional in the U version Bible. Do you guys have U version? It is on it's a Bible app on your phone. And actually, one of the developers of that particular um, app is my uh, a member of my church. So it's something that we use on at church on Sunday. Our sermon notes are loaded into it. There's all sorts of interesting interactive things with it. So I'm not doing a commercial for you version, but I guess I am. I was reading a devotional called The Joy Switch. I'm a person that it's sometimes hard to maintain my joy because I want all my circumstances around me to be perfect. And how many people know that that is pretty much impossible? And yet here I am 50 plus years old and I'm st <laughs> still struggling going, why can't this be this way? It opens, that particular devotional opens with talking about a relational we were created with a relational brain. And I thought, okay, yeah, I can handle that. And then the next day it talked about having a relational circuit within your brain. It's talking about relationship. We need relationship as human beings. We need all of that. And in this time when social distancing mask mandates, don't touch, there are people that are craving relationship. There are people that are struggling because what they thought was sound, what they thought was stable, is no longer stable. And of course, in this devotional, it's talking about your relationship with your Heavenly Father. But it actually gives practices on things for, that you can do to implement yourself either online or offline relationally. When I thought about this relationship part of the brain, what I thought about was the limbic brain. The limbic brain is a, a, a portion of our brain. It's actually where your amygdala is, which is your emotional storehouse and memories are attached to those. Uh, your pineal gland is there, which has been dubbed by science as your intuition gland. It's also what's responsible for your circadian rhythm. But your limbic brain is stimulated by your sense of smell. It is stimulated by your sense of smell. So the saying, oh, you know what? I walked into the restaurant and there was apple pie smell. And it reminded me of my grandma's house. How many emotions were attached to that smell. Huge number. So pineal gland, dubbed as an intuition gland, is stimulated when we're praying. What is that? You're having relationship with God, with the Lord. You're having that relationship. I think it's super interesting how we end up with a part of our brain that is fully segmented for relationships and we are living in a time where people are being discouraged from having a relationship with one another that God intended. You know, the Bible says, forsake yourself, not the assembling of the saints. Why? Because you need each other. You need community. What I want you to do is I want you to sit alone Diffuse an essential oil that you like. Ask the Lord which oil you need to diffuse. Spend a few times, a few seconds, engaging in relationship. Breathe the way that we were created to breathe rather than, way, rather than the way culture has taught us to breathe. And watch that peace return. Watch your joy switch turn on because you don't have the stress of the world, your adrenals are maxed out, you're breathing through your mouth, you're hyperventilating, and that's causing you to be in fight or flight. Take a few minutes and spend some time being quiet and still, just like he suggested.
in his word. Blessings.